This is how to shape and use the Decibels custom molded earplugs for motorcycle helmet use. In the kit, you get the little carry bag, you get the instructions, you get the blue pieces that you are going to shape. You have the outer plug pieces. Then you have three sizes of the silicone inserts and you have max foam inserts. It says to use the silicone tips for molding and then you can go replace those with these max foam ones later if you want. They will provide the highest NRR rating of 31. In other words, the most noise protection. The first thing you do is take your blue plugs. You've got a right and a left as they're marked. You're gonna put the plugs on the inside here. Same with this one. In other words, the plugs are gonna go in where the L and the R exist. And on the back sides, I'm gonna use the medium silicone tips because that's a good place to start. I can go up or down from there if I want. I've got the two cups of boiling water. I put the earplug in each one. When I put them in there, they floated. So I'm using a fork to weigh each earplug down. They want you to put one in each one separately though, so that you don't end up getting them stuck together. Now what I notice is they are getting soft because the forks are actually sticking into the blue, but that's okay. They'll get soft and then they should take their shape. I've got the timer on for five minutes to let them get soft in the water. All right, now that it's been five minutes, plug out with the spoon, and you can see that the fork did leave marks on it. Same with, oh, this one, it got really gummy. I'm gonna give it 30 seconds to cool. Make sure to use a metal spoon, not a plastic, or they'll stick to it. And it says give at least 30 seconds. You don't wanna put it in your ear hot. So what we're going to do is stick them in each ear. And this one was the, uh, let's see. That looks like the right side. And this looks like the left side. So now I'm gonna stick them in my ears. You wanna get them down in the concha, buried in there. And then it says to give them five minutes to cool and just periodically push them back in. Okay, so now I've got the timer on for the five minutes. And I'll just push them back in that button every 30 seconds or so. And now that they've been in five minutes, I can take them out. The blue foam does get pretty stiff, I'll say that much, but they're not the prettiest. <laughs> and this may be one of those things that it just takes a while to get used to how to make the things. The good thing about them is they are reformable, so you can actually put them back in boiling water and reshape them if you want to take another stab at it. And then you can try again the different tips and the maximum ones if you want the most sound protection there. Now that the plugs are actually made, the next thing to do is try them out. You really have to ride for at least an hour or two before you're going to see if they're going to cooperate with your ears or not. I haven't had as much luck with these type of wiper style plugs. They've proven to be uncomfortable for me in the past. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is switch them over to the maximum insulation ones like I've done on this one here already. Basically just pop the insert off and put the new one on. So you're going to be experimenting with two things really. You're going to try them first to see how comfortable they are over a long period of time. Secondly, if you're running like a Senna or audio inside your helmet, you may have to experiment because these are gonna drown out the most noise. It may be too much sound insulation to where you can't hear phone calls if that's important to you. I do like the fact that they insert better into your ear. I had a custom molded set before that really worked well, so I'm hoping that these are closer to those as far as comfort goes. But everybody's ears are different, so just try them out. And again, the nice thing about these is you can heat them up and remold them if you didn't get quite right the first time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below and let's celebrate turning fuel and air into adrenaline.